Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about cloud rendering and how to create a cloud rendering in Revit. But if you don't know what cloud rendering is, that is basically just a regular rendering that you don't really do on your computer, but you send your project file and your 3D view up to Autodesk's servers and then they basically render it for you. They use their server power to render your project and then you don't have to do it on your computer. Now the reason why you, you would do something like this instead of just rendering on your computer is either you have a very slow computer and you have to render some large image and it would just take too long or if you're in in the middle of work and you have to set something else up and you have to work in Revit or in some other piece of software and you really can't have your computer rendering and taking up all the time because when you're rendering you basically can't do anything on your computer except maybe watch YouTube videos and that's it. So there are a lot of benefits to using cloud rendering and it's amazing because even if you have just a student license so if you haven't bought the actual copy of Revit and you just downloaded the student version you can still use cloud rendering and if you want to learn more on how to download this the student version of Revit check out the link in the description I've shown you how to download Revit 2019 and also I'll leave the link to all of the new features of Revit 2019 if that's something you want to learn but okay let's get started into rendering but before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and this is just some project that I've been working for and I just want to do a test rendering just to see what everything looks like this is far from finished but I just want to have a test and then I want to be able to continue working in the project while the rendering is being done so here I am in 3d view this is called 3d view 1 this is the one that I want to render in the cloud so what I need to do I need to go here to view and here you've got your render and here you've got your render in cloud or you can use the shortcut RD so that's what I'm going to use so I'm just going to type in RD and this is what you get now you either get this dialog or you get your sign in dialog and if you get your sign in dialog you basically sign into the same account you created on Autodesk when you were downloading Revit so you just go here continue and you get this render in cloud dialog and here you need to select the view so you can select either all of your 3d views or you can select just the one that you want or just a couple I'm just going to do one over here so I'm just going to close this drop menu then you have the output type so you can have a still image a panorama a stereo panorama and an illuminance so this is basically illuminance is just for some uh, analysis of light analysis stereo and per per panorama are basically some of those 360 views and if you want to see how to render that I have a link to that in the description as well so I'm just going to select the still image for this one then for render quality I'm just going to use standard for this one because I, I don't really have to go all that high then for image size you can select either one of these I'm just going to go for a large for this one it's not being done on my computer so I don't care but as you can see here I need some credits so this will need one credit but if I go to maybe medium this is zero credits so I'm just going to keep it at medium so I don't have to have any credits used up then for the exposure I'm just going to leave it at advanced and for file format you can either use PNG, JPEG or TIFF. I prefer JPEG so that's just what I'm going to leave it at and alpha transparency background I don't want that I just and I can't have that in a JPEG you can only have that with a PNG so I'm just going to leave it at JPEG to have a regular sky in the background and let's just hit render and you can also check here email me when completed if you want to continue working and then maybe you want to be notified by email you can check that but I don't want that so I'm just going to hit render and now this is the process where your computer is actually sending or uploading the model to Autodesk's servers and then it's going to start rendering so now it's uploading data and you can actually just select this continue in background and it's just going to 
continue in background and as you can see here something is happening and that's it so now you can just continue working and maybe setting up some other stuff or some other views for rendering and if you want to check out how your rendering is going you can always open up this drop menu and you can just see it's as you can see here it's uploading and then later on it will say when it's finished so I've waited for a couple of minutes and there's no longer that twisting little icon over here so I'm just going to open up the drop menu and go to view completed renderings and it's now just opening up the website and as you can see here we have our project so I'm just going to open this image up wait for a second yeah here it is here's our image so it's rendered quite quite nicely so now I can go here and I've got some options I can create it and or render it as a panorama or stereo panorama so I can basically re-render this image or I can go and adjust exposure perhaps just to have some settings over here so this is basically something that you would have on your computer but you can either do that there or you can do here so maybe I can make it this a bit lighter or maybe I can make the highlights pop a bit or the shadows a bit darker or whatever you want you can set this up you can bring the saturation down maybe make it black and white just go apply and then wait for a second and because it's now re-rendering but I'm just going to cancel this because I, I don't really want to re-render this image and then I can go here and download the image so I can, I can again download it as PNG, JPEG, TIFF or whatever or EXR whatever that is so I'm just going to choose JPEG and I'm going to download this image and here we go it's on my computer so I can use this in my project okay but that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you have learned how to render in cloud i hope this was useful thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day